Welcome to Wednesday Insights. Courage. The pilgrimage has been an integral part of the coach educational journey offered through our Smiling One Circles of Change Academy. It has never been an easy task, my own pilgrimages, or when I'm tasked to send a student off. But each time the student returns, we bow deeply to the teaching. There are lessons that we simply cannot facilitate, which only can be taught and fully integrated when walking the path of the pilgrim. I opened his letter this morning. I read it one more time, pausing on its profound message. The ink still wet from the sweat and the tears, the numerous inner conversations from walking his pilgrim path. These are not just words written on a page, In my heart, I feel his heart and his courage. He fought it, tried to escape it, refused to surrender to it. I can so relate to this inner battle. And then there was silence. He was completely swallowed by it. Six months later, I see him on the winding road of the big unknown. Next to him is 15-year-old. There is a softness between them, his arm gently wrapped around the inner child, showing him a different path. No longer imprisoned by the past, He waves at me, eager to share the fruits of his journey. I notice the humility. In his letter is an apology. And I observe his connection to an inner wisdom which connects us all. We sit down. I welcome him home. What about you? Do you have the courage to open yourself to the journey, to fully submit to it, to surrender, to touch every single part of you that still resists, to engage in the inner conversation that keeps inviting you, to touch pain and fear and to feel every inch of this human experience. Do you have the courage to leave the parts behind that kept you safe but no longer serves you? To let go of the known? Do you have the courage to finally see and be seen? Do you have the courage to take the risk to be all you can be. We all arrive at a certain point, at a crossroad, where the pilgrim is ready to be fully activated. Before we even notice it, we are right in the middle of it, the rucksack already packed for the next stage of the journey. There is no turning back. Ahead, the winding road of the big unknown. I think of my arrival in South Africa in 2006 as one of several pilgrim activations. The first one I actively participated in. David White, the poet, wrote a lovely poem collection called Pilgrim. Recently, I was invited to his Three Sundays in July, where he unpacked its deeper meaning. 
I found deep resonance and wonderful parallels to both my own pilgrim's path and the pilgrim paths of the many student coaches I have journeyed with these past almost 14 years. I'm thinking of the boots left behind by David's niece as she arrives at Finister on her pilgrim path. It is such a lovely symbol of the journey and what we are ready to leave behind because we get in touch with a different way of walking the path. When I reflect upon this year, 2020, my pilgrim ready once again, fully activated. I find myself catapulted into the next phase of my awakening. And there it is, the winding road of the big unknown. I recognize the comfort still resident in me, the part of me still seeking, pleasing, aching, needing, waiting, caring too much about what others think. And here we are, walking the pilgrim path, immersing ourselves in the conversations, sad ones, happy ones, angry ones, serious ones, courageous ones, loving and deeply caring ones. She is walking right next to me. I hold her hand. The road expands. It's a new dawn. Back to you. Do you have the courage to open yourself to the journey? To fully submit to it? To surrender? To touch every single part of you that still resists? To engage in the inner conversation that keeps inviting you? To touch pain and fear? And to feel every inch of this human experience? Do you have the courage to leave the parts behind that kept you safe but no longer serves you? To let go of the known? Do you have the courage to finally see and be seen? Do you have the courage to take the risk to be all you can be?